Uh, we caught up with the SLB CEO, and if you don't know who SLB is, you will know that it's Schlumberger before rebranding a couple of years ago. The CEO, CEO Olivier Lepouch, uh, was uh, joining Dan and myself, and we asked him about what regulation is needed to reduce methane emissions. We should build on the, uh, on the OGMP as a, as a framework. We should uh, make sure that all companies uh, uh, use the, the oil and gas decarbonization charter to target, publish, and commit to this uh, 2030 near zero uh, uh, methane and 2030 elimination of flaring and venting. This is technically possible. OGMP is just a framework to measure methane. Uh, OGDC is a charter to help accelerate, steer, and create a momentum. And then I think each, unfortunately, today we don't have one regulation. We have the UN pushing OGMP. But you have EPA that just published a new methane rule. So I think harmonization of methane rules regulation will help to align with OGMP and to help accelerate this. Olivia, I think we'll have one final question. We've got a minister yes. waiting as well. Um, the final question for me is, you are still going to be about hydrocarbons, about fossil fuels, about helping the oil and gas industry to uh, negate um, their emissions. What about um, new energy? What about non-fossil fuels? What about electrons rather than we, molecules? We are accelerating, we are creating, opening a new chapter for the company. We are creating a new chapter. Yes, we are doing, it's an end. Yeah. We are helping accelerate decarbonization oil and gas. This is a must. This is a license to operate as an industry. And we are investing in new low carbon solution. We are investing into five different themes and we are doubling down in technology to create a new chapter for the company, a chapter that will be bigger by 2050 than the core business we have today. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.